Good day, grade tens. In this lesson on probability, we're going to learn about Venn diagrams. Now, Venn diagrams is a way, a graphical way of representing relationships between sets of data. And the sets are each represented by a circle. Now, this is complicated, but actually it's really easy. So let's look at some basic Venn diagrams. The universal set is everything that it can possibly include in the Venn diagrams. So the universal set is everything. And then you could have sets inside the universal set, which could either be intersecting or they could not. They could be separate things. So for example, this could be, I don't know, um, all the colors, all the colors of the rainbow, all the colors. But this could be only the reds. This could be only the blues and this could be only the greens. So therefore, all the colors of the rainbow would be making all the colors and that would be the universal set. Within that universal set, you've got three separate sets, which is your only your reds, your blues, or greens. We could do a similar thing with this one where we've got all the colors here again, all the colors. But this time we can agree that if you mix the red and blue, you might get a beautiful color. So therefore you could have a little bit of an intersection. So this would be the reds and this would be the blues and this would be the greens. And then where they overlap would be the color that could make a mixture from red or blue, which for example could be, I don't know, purple. Right, so that is the universal set. The universal set covers everything that can encompass all of it. The complement of a set is everything that's not included in that set. So again, if we had to look at this, this would be all the colors, right? This set would be the blues, this is the reds, and this is the greens. So in other words, the complement of set B is everything that's not in set B. So basically it would be all the colors minus any color with blue in it, any blue color, color with the pigment blue in it. Okay. So it doesn't matter if it's turquoise or um, a deer dark blue or a navy or anything like that. Anything with a type of a blue in it is not included in this set. And that is the complement. So the complement means not B. Everything that is not B is the complement of the set. The union of the sets is the all of that together. Okay, so the union of the set, so the way we'd write this is A union B union C. So the U stands for union and we do it with like a little, looks like a U, union. So in other words, let's say for example, this was apples, this was pears, and this was oranges and this was all fruit, okay, the union of the sets of ABC would be apples and pears and oranges. So the union means both. It means apples and pears and. So the union means and. Okay, intersection. The intersection means it has to be in both of them. So it has to be in both of them. So if, for example, we look at this, we can see that this bit here, this bit here over there, is only the intersection of A and B. In other words, it has to be in both A and B. So the intersection means that it has to be in both sets. It has to be present in both sets. So for example, if I looked at, I don't know, um, let's say we've got a set of 2, 4, 6 and 10 and we've got another set and we made that A and we said B is just 4 and 8. If I had to, sorry let me just erase this quickly. If I had to raise that and I make B 
my set of four eight but you see that four is in both the a and the b so i put my four here and then my a would be just what's left which is two six and ten and eight would be what's left in I mean, in the next video we're going to do this a little bit more in detail but the intersection is basically what the data is is in both sets in the intersection we represent with what looks like an n so remember union has got a u and intersection has what looks like an n or an upside down u and that grade 10 is the basics of Venn diagrams. We're going to be looking at how to use Venn diagrams in the next video. Have a great day.